This lesson deals with an example using Bodhi platforms. You can find these notes in the ECE 202 ebook in chapter 12, starting at page 9. Suppose you have a transfer function f of s that's equal to s plus 11,121.2 divided by s plus 314.159. This is actually part of the transfer function that we looked at in chapter 11 for the NAB equalizer. This is actually the pole and zero that does the equalization. There's another pole and zero that's used to roll off low frequency response and actually lowers overall noise. To sketch the body plots of this transfer function, we need to get this into the forms we looked at earlier. So the first step is to plug in s equals j omega. So we have j omega plus 11,121.2 divided by j omega plus 314.159. Now this doesn't look like any of the forms we have. We have to have a one here. So let's pull out the 11,121.2. Now let's pull out the 314.159. And we're left with is a 1 plus j omega divided by 11,121.2. Likewise, pulling out the 314.159, we have 1 and then j omega divided by 314.159. This ratio is equal to 35.4. I'll write this numerator term as just 1 plus j omega over omega c. And I'll write this denominator term as 1 over 1 plus j omega. But now omega c is 314.159. So this is our form 1, form 4, and form 5. Let's sketch each of these by inspection. Create a scale versus omega, but this again, this will be log paper. And so our x-axis is log base 10 of omega, although we're just gonna label this as omega. 20 log of 35.4 is 30.98. So just a straight line versus frequency. The angle would be zero because it's a positive number. Next, our form four has an omega c at 11,121.2. Suppose that that's this frequency right here. Below omega c, value is zero dB with a slope of zero dB per decade, and then above this omega c, we're gonna be increasing at 20 dB per decade. For the phase angle, at 11,121, we're gonna be at 45 degrees, and that's right over here. Go back a decade to 1,112, you're at roughly zero. Go forward a decade from omega c, and you're at about 90 degrees. That would be 111,212. The form five has an omega c of 314.159, so suppose that that's right here. So below that, we're gonna have a slope of zero dB per decade and a value of zero dB. And above it, we're gonna roll off at 20 dB per decade. In other words, the slope is minus 20 dB per decade. For the phase angle, locate 314.159, and you're gonna be down 45 degrees. So that's this point right over here. Go back a decade, you're at zero. Go forward a decade to roughly 3,140, and you'll be down minus 90 degrees. So the slope here is a minus 45 degrees per decade, plus 45 degrees per decade here. Now we want to add up these curves. One way to add up the results here is do it point by point. That can be quite tedious. Let me show you another technique. Let's identify the regions where the slopes of the individual results here are constant. For example, in region one, form one has a constant slope. So does form four and form five. In region two, we have the same slope for form one and the same slope for form four, but form five has a slope change at minus 20 dB per decade. And in this region, form one still has the same slope, but now form four has a different slope, 20 dB per decade, and this continues at the slope of minus 20 dB per decade. Add up all the points, say in region one, so I'd have 30.98 plus zero plus zero, and nothing's gonna change until I get to this point. Now if you add up point by point, this particular data point is changing with a slope of zero plus zero, and then minus 20 dB per decade. So you could construct a slope of minus 20 dB per decade until we get to this point here, or you could just add up this point and just connect it up with a straight line. So I've got 30.98, zero, and a minus 30.98 at 11,121. So the sum is equal to zero. So we find this point and this point on a straight line, and we know that the slope is gonna be minus 20 dB per decade. Now when you get to this frequency 11,121, this slope continues to decrease, but now this increases. So any change here is offset by this one, and the net slope is equal to zero. So we just level out. I did the same for the phase angle, and here I've got five regions. Here's region one, up two, three, four, and five. So in this region, all three curves have the same slope. Add up all the points, they just get zero. And now this form five starts to drop at 45 degrees per decade until we get to this frequency. So our net slope will be minus 45 degrees per decade. And then this starts to increase while this is still decreasing, so it just levels out. Then this levels out, and I have still a slope of plus 45 degrees per decade, so this will continue to increase at that. And then when I get to this frequency, this one will go to zero degrees per decade, zero and zero, so it levels out. Now if you add it up here, I get 90 
plus 0 plus minus 90, so you get back here. Likewise, I had 0 plus 0 plus 0 here. And then these curves, when it leveled out, we'll have to figure out the value. It's something between minus 45 and minus 90. I'll show you a technique on the next page how to do that. Also, how did I get this value? I'll show you that too on the next page. But this is my summation of the three forms that I had. I now have a shape, and this is the shape of that equalization curve for the NAB equalizer. And this is also the phase angle, showing how the phase is changing, tipping down to almost minus 90 degrees. To understand how I did the graphs on the previous page, I need to show you how to make a piece of log paper. It's a little memory trick that I use to set up a scale. Pick a unit. This could be one inch, one centimeter, or whatever you want it to be. it would be from zero to one unit. Now take the log base 10 of one and you get zero unit, and take the log base 10 of 10 and you get one unit. If you want to figure out where two is, just take the log of two and you get 0.3, which is three tenths of the distance. Take the log of four, it's 0.62. I use a ruler with a tenth of an inch so I can make these kinds of approximations by using a basic scale of an inch. But really anything will work. Now if you want to go the other way, this is creating a scale. If you want to go the other way, take this equation here, say, and solve it. So if you want to solve for where is 0.3 unit, just take this side of the equation, make it the exponent of 10, and likewise this. So 10 to the 0.3 would be equal to 2. If you want to know where a quarter unit is, it'd be 10 to the quarter, which is 1.78. Where's half the unit? It's 3.16. In other words, the center of this thing right here is 3.16. 3 quarters is 5.62, and 7 eighths is 7.5. And once you've created a unit, this just repeats. In other words, you could say 1 to 10, then from 10 to the 100 would be the same unit repeated. I used a centimeter here when I did the notes, and likewise. And if you find where 2 is, say that was 3 tenths of the unit, then you simply add a centimeter and you find where 20 is. And you just repeat the scale that way. This allows you to make the paper. This allows you to read a point off the paper. We're going to use both of these in the course. Now on the graphs on the previous page, I marked some values off on my curves, and I did that by using the slope. So let's figure out a formula for this. I'll call this x1 with omega1 and x2 with omega2. So we know the slope in dB per decade or degrees per decade. Let's really rise over run. So if I take the slope here, take the second point minus the first point. So x2 minus x1, and then log of omega2 minus log of omega1. But the difference of two log is actually the log of the ratio. So this slope is equal to x2 minus x1 divided by the log base 10 of omega 2 divided by omega 1. Same is true for the angle. You have the angle for x2 minus the angle of x1 over the log of the ratio of the two. On the last page, I marked off one of the results as minus 30.98. Let me do that particular example by just going back to the previous page. So let me call this x2, and I'll call this point x1. So x2 minus x1 divided by the log of of 11,121 divided by 314 is equal to a slope of minus 20 dB per decade. I know this is zero, but I don't know the value of this. So on the following page, I just solve for that. So my rise over my run was the slope, and I just cross multiplied, solve for x2. That turned to be 30.98. And what about that angle between minus 45 and minus 90? We can solve for that. Call this my x2, and I'll call this x1. Just easy numbers to pick. And my frequencies are 1,112 and 31.4. X2 minus X1, which is zero, divided by the log of 1,112 divided by 31.4 has to equal minus 45 degrees per decade. So here's my rise over my run. I killed my slope. I can again solve for X2. So minus 45 times the log base 10 of this ratio turns out to be minus 69.7 degrees. And again, it's between minus 45 and minus 90. In this example, we use multiples of 1.112 and 3.14. So on that original scale, I took the log of 1.112 and the log of 3.14, using my ruler to approximate those distances as fractions of total unit. Lastly, you could also be reading a point off of a curve. Suppose that I'm at this frequency is omega 1. I could measure the size of one unit, whatever that turns out to be, whether it's off an application node or a graph that I'm drawing or piece place. Suppose here was 11 sixteenths of an inch. When that this distance between omega 1 and 1 is 5 sixteenths of an inch. So the value of omega 1 then is the fraction of the total. So it's 5 sixteenths of an inch over 11 sixteenths. And that turned out to be 2.84. And this is some examples using the Bode platforms and how to make the scales associated with them.